Okay, I think we are about ready. So. Yesterday. Well, okay, hold on, hold on. What? Sorry, getting ahead of myself. Let me swap it over. Everything looks fine. I was gonna say, why is this not doing anything? All right. Was, was that confetti always there? I don't remember. I think that's... I think there's a bunch of confetti because I beat the game. I could be wrong, though. could be misremembering. Uh, okay. Volume's all the way down, right? Yeah. Alright. So last time on Thousand Year Door, we beat the game. That's all that needs to be said. So, I am told that there is a 100% reward for getting everything. Basically, fill out the badge list, fill out all the recipes, fill out the title log. If we fill all these out and maybe even the rest of the art gallery, we there is some sort of 100% reward. So, we're gonna be oh, we're gonna be working on that. Let's see. Let's go into your time to read. No, I already read your journal. So it almost feels directionless right now. <laughs> uh, I should probably pull up a list and uh, you know, pull up, pull up a list for badges because I think we'll prioritize that first. Okay, hold on, let me check a few things, though. When the light fades from Rogueport, a hero emerges, inscribing his name in legend. Graffiti Corner. Super Luigi. All five volumes are now on sale at the Toad Bros Bazaar. The mustachioed Green Baron. Luigi's promoting his own book. <laughs> well, we got all five books of Super Luigi. I should read them, but maybe we could do that a little later. We could, yeah, there it is. So we, yeah, we have all five books of Super Ru Luigi. So the whole idea of these uh, of these books is that Luigi already embellishes his own story, and the books go even further with embellishing his story. It's it's a good joke. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll cover it a little bit later. First, let's go see Frankly. Because we don't have much direction. Also, supposedly they have a map for treasure. I don't know. <laughs> Seem pretty cheery. And, and as always, I'm happily busy with my research. By the by, do you know what that in that... Do you know what was in that treasure chest we found at the in the palace? It contained a dried mushroom. Oh no, it's nothing to be disappointed by. Now we know for certain that m people indeed ate mushrooms 1,000 years ago. This is a groundbreaking an anthropological discovery. So in that treasure chest was a mushroom. Okay, so he doesn't give direction. Are there any tattles for beating the game? Or troubles? Damn it. Yes, there are. Let's do these. I really wanted to see the great tree, but there are many cads in the way. Can someone please ro uh, roust these near do wells. I'm waiting in boggly woods near the great tree. Doty's trouble. All right. We'll do the three troubles. We can do that first. So we got that. We got the fight against Prince Mush. Other than that, we can focus on bad. We can focus on getting badges. One badge is at the end of the Pit of a Hundred Trials, so that one will obviously be last. We'll be getting. We'll focus on getting the other badges first. Okay, Boggly Tree.
I'm pretty sure these troubles were in the original game. Because I think he, I think these were right. Uh, I think it's a near the Bogley tree. So we go this way, I think. I think it's right, or maybe it's inside the tree. We'll hang on this area for a second. Hold on. Okay, no, hold on. I'm doing something wrong. Uh. Notes. That's what it is. I really wanted to see the girl, but there are many cats in here. I'm waiting in Bogley Woods near the Great Tree. Okay, let's just head to the first area then. It's probably just somewhere along the road. I'm gonna do that to get rid of some of these guys. Ah, uh, there you are. Okay. Ah, now this is a problem, eh? What? What's that you say? Ah, you could help me. Excellent, just marvelous. I was just about to give up on the whole deal. I came to the woods just to see the great tree, but the thugs up ahead scared me. Continuing with goons is not part of my repertoire, so to speak, so I've stalled here. Do you suppose you could give all the goons up ahead a proper thrashing? I'll be waiting here until you do. Okay, so just take out all the enemies. That's Doe T, the toad who asked for us for help. He came all this way to see the great tree for himself. Now let's clear out all the enemies were, uh, here like he asked, okay, Mario? Just one more enemy to clear out. There we go. Done. Took care of those goons already, eh? Marvelous. I can finally see the great tree. I'm in your debt, sir. This, it isn't much, but I hope this will do uh, do you for your troubles. It may change my lunch from my it may change from lunch. Thirty coins. Perhaps I'll see you up ahead. That was too easy. That was way too easy. I actually don't remember this trouble. There, there has to be something else to this. We're heading back to the tree anyway. Maybe we'll find him. I don't. I honestly don't remember this. That was too easy. Okay, hold on. Great tree. As you watch us foolishly continue to repeat history, what could you think of us? You could do nothing but stand and watch our ignorance. No. What? No. What? Rot. There we go. To assume that a tree can do nothing. That only proves my own foolishness. It seems that's all there was to it. Hmm. Just the easy 30 coins to gather? I guess so. Right. Let's go back up and start the next trouble. I do not think all of them are going to be this quick. That that trouble uh, is like a false sense of security, you know what I mean? Oh, they keep running into the wall. Okay, troubles. What do we got? I got into a fight with my mom. I need you I need you to help me make up with her. I'll be waiting near the sanctum in Poshley Heights. Oh, okay. Bub's trouble. Oh, okay. I thought it was one of the bombs, but no. Never mind. Oh, Bub. It's uh Gold Bob's kid. Now th this one does feel familiar, so maybe these were here. I don't Back to Poshley Heights. Back to Poshley Heights. It's a good thing uh, I wanted to go back here anyway, because I think... Yeah, there's Bo from the first game. 
It is you, isn't it, Mario? Well, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? It's playing the theme of the original game. Ah, uh, that's new. That's new. I've come here with Bootler. Yes, a little vacation to Poshly Sanctum. I hadn't felt... Uh, I haven't left the mansion in ages. I figured it was time to turn some heads on the road. <laughs> but what a nice surprise to see you. Feel free to be overwhelmed by my beauty. <laughs> Lady Bo, your beauty is like the song of a, of a nightingale in the evening. Indeed, I feel you've grown into a fine young girl who made, who'd make your ancestors proud. So, is that in here? Uh, prologue, Mario's house. That that little tune has to be in here. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Bowser's Malice. Which one's Bowser? Okay. Barrel. Barrel. Level up. Chapter clear. Game over. No, it's not in here? Or at least it doesn't sound like it. Ah, here it is. Here it is. Greetings from the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay. Oh, there's Gold Bub. Here's Bub. I've been waiting for you, mister. See? I got in a fight with my mom, and I want to make it up to her. So I wrote her a letter, and I want to give her a present. But I don't know what to get. I've narrowed it down to three things, so could you help me decide? Mushroom cake, keel mango, or the fright mask? Uh, I don't know if it matters what you pick, but we could do the keel mango. You really think keel mango is the way to go? Sure. You've got great taste, so I'm sure it'll go over well. You also have to go find the keel mango and bring it here. Because, you know, they don't sell those things here. Luckily, that's a quick trip. Even in the GameCube version, that's a quick trip. Wait, is that... I don't think I crashed. I think just my... It, didn't, it doesn't seem like I crashed. Okay. Just the player on my end. Alright. I should talk to, uh... Traveling Sisters to see what they say. Get out of here. Okay. E yeah, e if you went with the Kyo Mango, it's a very quick trip, even in the GameCube version. But if you went with the others, uh, Fright Mask is over there. So that's still a quick trip. Shroom mushrooms. The mushroom one, yeah, I think you had to cook. We have the Traveling Sisters 3. Eek! The water's so cold! Oh, but it feels so good. That's all. And I know... I missed this star piece this entire time. Okay. Wasn't Dupree here? Uh, maybe only in the... Maybe only in the uh, final scene with the crystal stars, you know? Alright, bub. I got your mango. Did you bring the keel mango for my mom? There we go. Yahoo! A keel mango! Thanks, mister! I'll just attach this letter and we're done! But I'm afraid to give it to her. She may still be mad. Can you give it to her and come back, please? Uh, deliver it to Sylvia. She ju should just be at the house. So just a couple screens over. Why, hello, Gonzalez. Do you need something? From Little Bub, you say? Why, there's a letter. Let me just read it. Dear lovely mama, I'm sorry I didn't do my homework. 
From now on, I'll do my homework and try to be a good bob -omb, like Papa. And I'll give you good food and a nice house and a pretty hat. So please don't hate me from Bob. Oh, I'm just gonna... Oh, I'm just gonna break down and cry here. Oh, how delightful. Ah! Ugh! That might have been crying. That might have been crying noises. Oh, Gonzalez, don't mind my tears. They're joyful ones. I just want you to tell Bob something for me. Tell him I'm not angry. I was just being stern because I love him and I care for his about his future. I never meant to hurt his little feelings by it. And I'm sorry I lost sight of that. Gonzalez, please bring bring my little Bub back to me now. Pretty simple. Alright, come on, bub. Hey, mister, how is it? Does she like the present? She's not mad anymore. Yahoo! Woo! It's all thanks to you, mister. You're the person I respect the most. After my dad. And, as a reward, I'll give you my mom... I'll give you my entire fortune. Not that I have many coins, though. Three coins. All this for three three coins, but you know it's not it's it's not about the coins. It's just a little. Uh, it's not story resolution, but it's not even character development. It's just a little character moment. One more trouble to go. I don't think there's a different reward if you get a different item. And if there isn't a reward for getting a different item, then the Kyo Mango doesn't cost money to get to grab, so that's probably your best option. Alright. One more. I need someone to go to the 50th level of the pit of 100 trials for me. Shaboom. So I need someone pretty tough. Shapop Plowy. For details, please see me next to the cannon statue in Far Outpost. Shaboomity! Start it up. Let's, we'll take a quick trip to Far Outpost to get it started. But because it requires you to get to the 50th level, uh, we will not be doing it now. Now let me... I'm gonna pull up a badge list. Far outpost. You agreed to help for my, uh, <clears throat> sorry. You agreed to help for my trouble. Shaplui, thanks to you, Shaboom. There is a dungeon under Rokeport called Pit of 100 Tribes. Shakao. I heard if one writes wish on wall of 50th level, then wish come true. Shapa. I use special big explosion to get down to 50th floor level and write wish. Shakrak. And then I realized whole thing was a hoax. Shadoop. I risked life getting down there for useless graffiti. I wanted it erased. Shashoom. I would explode it myself. Ease of peace, but getting back down there is not ease of ease or peace. Shakroom. So could you go to 50th level of Pit of 100 Trials and erase graffiti? Please. Shaploo. Well, we've been down there before, so we can easily do it again. But we are not going to take care of that. Not right now. Okay, so I have a list of badges. Here, let me get to the top floor. Top level. I'm I'm not missing that many badges, so. Okay. Let me go through and figure out what what uh, what I'm missing. So double dip. Okay. 
There's two ways of getting this one. Okay. I actually don't know what way will be faster, but if we go to Far Outpost, but it sounds like on the pathway to Far Outpost and in the first area, so this way might be faster. You know, when I actually make the jump. Try this again. <laughs> Come on. Actually, make the jump this time. There we go. So, there's a hidden block within this area that has the badge that I'm missing. Let's see. But where, though? There's something right near us. Problem is, where is it? Wait. Hmm. Here? There we go. Double dip P. There's that. Okay. Next on the list. So, P down, D up. Okay. Boggly Woods. Hidden block in plane panel area. Really? Okay. So in the plane panel area, I need to go to. Um, it'll be faster to go to the warp room. That will be the fastest route. I should set up the fortune back up again. Back to Boggly Woods. Alright, there's a hidden block in an air in the plain area. Okay. Wait, Boggly Woods or Boggly Tree? Boggly Woods. Okay. Because there's airplane sections in the Boggly Tree. So I think it's in this area. There's a hidden block somewhere around here. Let me clear out the enemies. There, enemies have been cleared out. Okay. Is it like... Is it like in one of these areas? Should be something nearby, but she didn't do a flip. There it is. Power down, D up for the partners. All right. Okay, let's see. I need to look at close call partners. Close call partner. All right. So there's two ways of getting this one. Okay, so 
This one right here, we need to get to Pit of 100 Trials, so we're not getting that one in a while. It, it's not the final one, but we need to get to Floor 90. This one, there's two ways of getting it. So there's, there's two options. There's one where we have to trade in star pieces, which we could do. But there's, there's also another one. Uh, there's a hidden block uh, against the south wall opposite of the puny hole in the underground. So we're close to it. Let's just take the normal route. Let's just take the normal route out. Okay. Why does it look like there's something here? It really looks like there's something here. Hold on. Okay, it's probably nothing. Anyway. Roqueport Underground. Hidden block against the south wall opposite of the puny hole. The south wall opposite of the puny hole, so probably down in here. Get away from me. Hey, good to know. All right. There we go. Pretty lucky. And we can buy that from Dazzle, too. So that's another option. Fabulous. Okay. So again, Pit of 100 Trials, Floor 90. Okay, Zap Tap. Okay. Final floor on Pit of 100 Trials. We're not getting that for a bit. Pianta Parlor. Okay, we're gonna have to spend time in the Pianta Parlor for these two. Wait, there's another way to get one for here. Okay, we might we might do that route. Apparently in the remake there's another there's a second one for this one. So Okay. We could do that. And what's that one? Dazzle? Okay. Pianta Parlor, Creepy Steeple, and Dazzle. Alright, hold on. The first one we'll go to is... I think we'll go to Creepy Steeple. That'll be fastest. It's also right here. Uh, I hope you remember about the boo that has the quizzes. Because apparently that's what we needed to do. I did rem I, I didn't forget about the boo, it's just there wasn't really a good opportunity. It just kind of fell out of the way. Come tube. Okay, let's do some quizzes. Back for more, eh? Want me to quiz you again? If you got all three questions right, I'll give you something good. What did the waitress on the Express Express ruse lose? She lost the shell earrings. What sort of brain does Detective Pennington claim to have an impro improbably large brain. What is the name of the hotel in Poshley Heights? Oh. Park Tower? Yeah, it was Park Tower. Okay, we earned this. 
We earned a ice storm. We were supposed to come back here periodically. Back for more. Alright. Bub's father is named Goldbub. What's the mother's name? Sylvia. Very good. If you stay at the inn in Far Outpost, what will you find on the table? We find space food. Very good. Question three. Which crystal star was found inside the Exnot's fo fortress? That would be the movie star. No, the crystal star. You got all three questions right. We earned a shooting star. Jeez. The game gives you a lot of shooting stars. It's really good. More quizzes! Back for more. What is, Hook, what is Hooktail in relation to Gloomtail from the Palace of Shadow? Sis, younger sister. Question two. What is the name of the son mentioned in the letter held by Dull Bones in Hooktail Castle? Castle. That would be Colorado. Question three. Which symbol appears on the black pillars inside of the great tree? Wait, what symbol appears on the black pillars? Left facing puny. You got all three questions right. We get an ultra shroom. Jeez. Getting a lot of ultra shrooms. More quizzes. If you get all 15 of my brain-melting questions right, I'll give you something good. All right, 15 questions. Gumbella is in which year of her studies of University of Goom? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I actually don't, I don't know this. Junior? Junior, okay. What's the name of the puny shopkeeper in the Great Tree? Pringent. Okay. What is the name of the manager of Glitzville's Fresh Juice Shop? It's... Wait. It's either Podly or Podler. I think it... Is it Podler? Yeah, Podly is the one in Rogueport. In the Glitzville's Glitz Pit, which team is described as the Grim Death Burglars? Oh, wow. The Grim Death Burglars. Shell Shockers, Koopinator, the Handed Overs. Good, okay. Which model of hammer did you obtain from the Glitz Pit? It was the Hammer Wrath 2004, right? Or... Nope, okay. Mark II then, I think. I don't think it was... A... No, wait, was it 2005? It was next... It was the next year's model, I think. That... I thought it might have been a year. All right, let's try this again. Junior? Uh, uh, Pungent? Podler? The Handed Overs? Okay. Hamwack. Hamwack 2005? It was 2000. Okay, 2005. Okay. How many crows can be found throughout Twilight Town? Uh... Twelve? No, not twelve. I am not going back to check. Maybe t 
10 or 11, then? I don't think it's 9. I don't think it's 9. We got a regular old quiz king in this in this game. Okay, Junior. I wish I could speed through the text. Boom, boom again. Okay, toddler. Hand it overs. Ham whack. Two thousand five. Is it 11? Nope, it's not 11. Well, it's either 9 or 10. And I don't remember, so we're just... It'll be faster to just go through the quiz again. And just retry. It would be faster. At least I think so. I'm gonna... Toddler. Hand it overs. 2005. Okay. 10? Okay, it was 10 crows. Which of these is not one of Luigi's venturing, adventuring pals? Luigi's screamy hefty. There's no toad here. Which one of these things does not have spikes on its head? Spania, Spinia, Spunia, Bristol. I think it's Spinia. Spinia's the base one. Yeah. Remember? La, uh, La, La, the boo who works at the parlor in Rogueport. Which of these things does she like? Uh, I, snow bunnies? No? That's, okay. how am I supposed to know that? Tattle, maybe? Am I supposed to tattle the boo just to find that out? Ah, uh, time to go through all this again. Because I, I don't think it's coins. I mean, it could be coins. Ah, I don't know. Go through all this quiz just to figure it out. Hand it overs. 2005. And 10. FT. Spinia. Okay. Which of these things does she like? It's not snow bunnies. Here's the thing. There's two, like, snow thing, Like, ice things here. Is it ice pops? Okay, it's not ice pops. Well, it's either the honey mushroom or it's coins. What do we think? Uh, is, is it all about the money? Is it all about the money? Okay, let's see. Pungent. Podler. Hand it overs. 2005. Ten crows. Hefty. Spinia. Is she all about the money? It is not about the money. She likes honey mushrooms. Okay. Now we know. Again, it is faster to just keep retrying the quiz than to go back, I think. I'm good. Gonna... Hand 
Leftovers. 2005. Ten Crows. Hefty. Espinia. Right. Honey Mushrooms. What time was shown on the clock when Mario's group first arrived at Riverside Station? It's like five or six. No, it's five. It's not six o'clock. It was five o'clock. Right. Question 11. What is the name of the far outpost bottom that judges personalities by studying people's mustaches? Oh, it's Rob or Knob, I think. It's not Fred. I don't think so. Knob? Yeah. Ah, uh, time to start the quiz again! <laughs> Let's try it again, yes. Junior. Kungin. Podler. Handed overs. 2005. Ten crows. FT. Spinia. Honey mushrooms. Five o'clock. Rob? It was Rob. Okay, I, I, I knew it was at the top two. I wasn't sure. Which of these enemies can be only found in the Exnot Fortress? It's not the Yucks. It's not Grotus X. X Yucks. Z Yucks. Z Yucks. I believe. It's one of these two. I think it's X Yucks? Yes, okay, good. Can be f Which of these enemies can be found in the Palace of Shadow? It's just no it's dark it's dark wizard there we go dark wizard not county mario how many of his partners wear a hat gumbello wears a hat vivian wears a hat bobbery wears a hat so three how many boos come out of the box 200 very good. We got all 15 right. Me! Er, I mean, boo! -hoo. Here's your nerd prize, nerd. There it is. Come back again sometime, okay? It gets real dull in here. So all this for the money, money badge. Apparently, this badge was added for this quiz. Normally, the only way to get it is from the Pianta Parlor, which you could still get there but they added a second one for this quiz. Yes. We still need to go to the Pianta Parlor anyway, and let's see if we can get a badge from Dazzle. So far, there are two badges in the Pit of 100 Trials. We got one trouble that requires us to go to the Pit of 100 Trials. We still gotta fight Prince Mush. We need to go to Dazzle. It will be faster if I do this, and I think I go the normal way. Let's check Dazzle first, and then we're going to spend time in the Pianta Parlor.
Dazzle. What do we got? I. So pretty lucky is a badge that you can get in the Pit of 100 Trials, I think. No, no, wait. Pretty lucky was... Wait, hold on. Pretty lucky. Let me look. No, this was the one that was in the Rogue Pork Underground. Peekaboo is the one I'm looking for, and this is the only way to get it, but we need three more, so we can't get this just yet. Okay. And then... And then one... And this one's Pianta Parlor. Okay, Pianta Parlor... Pit of 100 Trials. Okay, so... Pit of 100 Trials. Pit of 100 Trials. Pit of 100 Trials. Three more star pieces. Pianta Parlor. Okay. Let's go to the Pianta Parlor. And then we need to find three more star pieces somewhere, but we'll go hunting for those later. Alright. How many... How many coins do I need? Training my winnings. What do... We, okay. The refund badge, we need 60. Hmm. Yeah, and this is another... This is your second way of getting money money. I guess in GameCube, this is the only way to get money money. Alright. Let's try out the tube game. Roll into a tube to navigate the difficult courses. You have to be able to dodge obstacles and navigate narrow paths. The faster you reach the goal, the more Piantas you'll earn. Fall off the track, and you'll lose Piantas instead, so roll with caution. If you don't finish a race within a minute and a half... You'll get a game over, so be careful, but do it quickly. If I fail this one, we'll just do one of the other ones I know how to do. Good luck! get a good look at the arena. Okay, well... Oh, is it going to show me the other half? Kind of getting an idea. Okay. Let's go! Oh, well, it's okay. Uh, come on. Made it. So we got 16 coins just by picking them up. For good time, we got 24. Fell zero times, so we didn't lose any. We got 40 coins out of that. I could just play again, but let's let's try out the boat game. I haven't done that one. And again, I want to be able to have extra. Just in case. Boat game. Let's try it out. 
Uh, in this game, you'll become a boat and dodge obstacles as you sail to the finish. You'll sail forward automatically, but you can lower your speed by tilting left in the opposite direction. The current will speed up during the second lap, so steer carefully. The faster you finish, the more Piantas you'll win. Hit any obstacles, and you'll lose Piantas. If you don't finish a race within a minute and a half, the game's over. So I can lower the speed, but it doesn't sound like I can speed it up. Yeah, let's see. Looks like another, uh, not a circle, but just traditional track. But we move automatically. Let's see what the rest looks like. Hmm. Okay. So we move move automatically. Okay. Dan. I, I need to transfer to the upper current on my own. Down, down here. Ugh. Okay. Doing good, doing good, doing good. There we go, made it. Okay, one more lap. There we go. Okay, so I ran into barrels a couple times, so let's see. My time gave me 22 coins. I picked up 10. But I bumped into three barrels, so I lost a total of 10. Honestly, I rather played the tube game. I'd rather do either the tube game or the, what was it, the paper one? The, the second one. Yeah, the paper game. Either tube or paper seems pretty good. We'll just play the tube game probably one more time. That should be enough. Probably good. It's the same. Time 23, I picked up 20 Piantas, and I did not fall, so I didn't lose any. There we go. That's all I need. Two games pretty quick, pretty easy. Quick way to get Piantas. All right. Let's see, 
I want the refund badge. There we go. Okay, and with that, three of the badges are pit of 100 trials. And one of them, we need three more star pieces. So, we're more or less done with badges. Uh, let's go, let's go fight, let's go fight uh, Prince Mush again. I think that's a good use of my time. I, got, I still gotta beat him. And it seems like there's another super boss, but I know nothing about it, so. Nor how to unlock it, so. Just kinda gonna play around for a little bit. Try to figure it out. All right, the Prince Mush fight. I really would like to be able to uh, super guard it. Because that's really... Super guarding is the only way to really beat it. We still have... We, we don't have to, but we can still go through the Glitz Pit again. Become the champ. Okay, hold on. So... I don't think I really need any of this, so that's okay. With my current attack power with jump, I think I deal exactly six. He's not affected by any status effects, so if I wanted to, I could take out some of this. Actually, let's take out... Let's at least take out these. None of these are gonna matter. If I were to throw in, say... Okay, hold on. So with jumping, normally you deal three, four, five, six, seven. However, uh, I'm limited to jumps and he changes his stance, which means some of the times I can't do anything. Um, I could get rid of jump man, go with a power up defense down which means it basically undoes one of these but it means I can break through his defenses for either the hammer or the jumping and if I unequip some other stuff like but here's the thing I probably don't need it because I can equip either of these two Actually, probably both. Because it's about him changing his stances. So let me look. I, uh... Let's see. Piercing Blow. Power Smash. I think both of these are good to have. I don't think there's any point in having any other one. Power Jump. For extra damage, sure. Other than that, though, like, none of these... I think he's immune to all status effects, so... Other than going with Power Bounce... There's no other reason. At least the Hammer will be able to ignore defense. Pretty lucky. Lucky start. Happy heart, happy flower, pretty flower, heart finder, refund, that really depends if I'm using items, super appeal, tummy tuner, okay, well, I can still have the power plus. So, 
the only time I can actually break his defense is when I can hit him with the hammer. With the jumping, I still can't actually break defenses. Although I could try power jump and see how that goes. <laughs> None of my partners can break through the defense except for Miss Mouse. Miss Mouse is the only one that can. Let's try it. Okay, so I can currently jump on him. I want to see how much damage I do with power jump. Five damage. I have enough power to be able to actually hurt him. He's not, he's not dizzy. Okay. So, my partners can't do anything unless it's Miss Mouse. And actually, at the moment, Miss Mouse can't do anything. So I'm going to try something. Dodgy Fog. Dodgy Fog was so useful against uh, Shadow Queen. So now, since it's hammer time... Let's ignore his defense. Piercing blow. Okay. Let's see if I can get the full heal. Yeah, bingo! Full heal! There we go. not time it right. But, back to power jump. Again, we're doing five damage. We're just kind of busting through his defenses that way. So, I can't hit him with Miss Mouse. Like, look, this is a jumping attack, but look, like, it won't be enough. See? Too weak. Uh, stealing my FP. Piercing blow. Okay. Back to Miss Mouse. damage. Uh, I gotta get that timing right. Luckily, I I think I'm glad I got the extra HP. I'm surviving a lot better. Extra two damage. Okay, fine. Oh, I don't care if I get this. Well, I got it anyway. Bingo! Another slap. Okay. He's going Super Saiyan. Sixteen damage. Okay. Well, I need healing. And he's gonna deal a lot of damage to me. So, let's sweet feast. Okay. 
I also need the FP back. Oh, that worked out. Okay, I'm not at full, but I'm close enough. But I do have max FP. And you know what? I may have life shrooms, but I have plenty of... I have I have two more blue sheets. Let's use them up. Yeah, no, I am not dealing with you. He gets Shadow Clone? Excuse me? Well, he doesn't seem to have a stance right now. Wait. He doesn't seem to have a stance. Shooting star? No, wait. Ice storm. I just want to figure out which one it is. Okay, good. The one in front. So we can go with piercing blow. Never mind! Guard that. Somehow. Now he's going Super Saiyan. Okay, so... I feel like I should heal. God, 22 damage? Okay. Wait. Well, I got the super guard, but that was the clone. Oh, that's just me. Oh, no. Okay. I think it's at the point where I need to super guard. Oh, God. Now it's my last life shroom. They're good, they fixed it. My God, he's going Super Saiyan, and I can't do anything about it. Watch. Wait, is that what I want to do? I have to Super Guard him. Sweet feast. I didn't know about the second phase. Swapping you out with Bobbery. And I'll just appeal. Yeah, okay, I get it. Overkill. Well, I wasted my two life shrooms. Well, I'm not going to get my star points back. 
that's for sure. I'm not going to get my star points back unless I become the champ again. But I don't know if that's needed. I didn't... How was I supposed to know about that second phase? Like, there's not much I can do. There really isn't. I have to super guard. I have to get the timing right. <laughs> I have Goombella here because I can rally Wink. It's either that or Miss Mouse. Let's try it again. No life shrooms uh, uh, for me. If it was the hammer, I would totally use the rally link, but for now, let's just appeal. I don't know if I lucked out or not, but... Piercing blow. Okay. Now we have to jump. The mist is helping me. Right now. Oh, he's going to take a few extra. Oh, no, it's just the ice cream. to get the super guard correct. Super. Charged up. Piercing blow. Rally wink. Very good. Ah, oh, dang, I didn't get the stylish. Bingo! Full recovery on FP again. That's helping me. There's some glow again. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I was doing okay, and then... I have to be able to super guard him. Because when he gets into that final stance, he is just invincible. Well, 
Wait. Why is Yo why is Ugum telling me to become the champ? Is it because we are here? could I do? <laughs> I feel like I lucked out with the mist. That's also part of it. I was lucking out with that. Let's try it again. I just need to practice. So. Start with the jump. Power jump. Yes, I can just appeal. Get that maxed out. Now we're on the hammer. Uh, I'm not getting it right. Is it worth... Power lift. Let's try it. For the attack buff. But I don't I, I don't know if that's worth it. Okay, we got plus four on both. Bell is the one that's affected. So, what if we rally link? If he was in the jump position, I would have just, like, appealed or something. Let's get Pearson Bow going. I didn't get it all. Oh, well. Got it! Bingo! Oh, I got him! I got him! Okay. So he has zero defense. Twenty damage. That is way more than what Goombella can do. So we're just gonna rally weak. He's down for two turns. Oh no, never mind. I guess we've moved him to his next phase. Damn it. This next turn's it. I already know that. Wait. How much can I do with Art Attack? Can I do anything with Art Attack? He's immune to all damage. You cheater. He cheats. How can you ignore the power of the stars? How can you ignore that? Well, this is... We're gonna find out. Nope. Ah, I can't get the timing right. Was there any point with power lift? Was there any point in using it? Because it seemed like... Because last time I got him into that state, 
he stayed down for two turns, but I think because I moved him to the other phase, he just immediately got back up. This is a hard fight. Only be now it's hard because of the second phase. Room, why not? Let's just let you appeal because. I did not get that right. Okay. I need a better way to time it. Take the ice damage that won't affect you at all. and jump on him. And because I didn't set up power lift, honestly, there's no reason to set up power lift at this point. Oh, we got him already. Okay, so same turn. Okay. Interesting. Bingo! Full heal. Might as doesn't really matter. Okay. He has swapped to his new stance. Dang it! Well, not like I could have done. I couldn't. Can't do anything. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I think what I'll do is I'll just try to defend. Waste the turn. See? As soon as he, like, I need to super guard it. I need to super guard it. If I can't, then I instantly lose. There's no way for me to guard against that. Without it. I could try using a boo sheet, but that's not gonna... It's not gonna save me. It will only stall for a turn. But the problem is... Yeah, it may stall for a turn. However... I need to super guard him because I can't hurt him. This literally is just about getting good. Oh! 
I didn't realize he started with his other stance. Oh. My bad. Normally he starts with the jumping one, so I thought it was always that way. Got the super guard. Good, good, good. Okay. Do some glow. Wait, what am I doing? I didn't need to use piercing glow. I just wasted FP on that. Now I'm dizzy. Are you kidding me? Fine. He has missed. Are you kidding me? Can I get rid of that? Yep, got rid of it. It's going Super Saiyan. to time it. I need a better way. I need a better way to time it. Power lift just speeds up the cross, speeds up the fight just to get to the last phase, but it's not going to matter. Come on. Let's go. Try it again. Okay, he's doing his jump one. Just like normal. Swap back to Goombella, it's not gonna hurt anything. And I guess we'll defend. Ooh, the timing right. There's some glow. right, but it's okay. Alright, 
Hard to tell there, power jump. Seriously, can I do anything else? We can't do anything, we can't shrink. Actually, wait a minute. Oh wait, this might be a... Uh... No, I don't want to waste it. You know, we'll try it. Fine, waste my MFP. I want to test it out. So Gulp just does not work on him. Good to know. It's good to know. You're just immune to sass effects, so I don't know why I bother. I don't know what I could do. Clock out, it's not gonna work. Power lift, no, earth tremors, retreat, heart attack. I already... I already know Art Attack doesn't work. Fine, we'll try Supernova. I just need to try something. You shouldn't be immune to this. And he's completely immune because he cheats. pieces or recipes we will work on some recipes recipes list of zesty recipes Getting tired of fighting him. I, mean, I just gotta I just gotta learn the timing. Alright, let's see. I've come up with a new recipe. There's a few options we can do. Some of these recipes have multiple ways of cooking them. So, like for this one, you could use a slow mushroom, or a life shroom, or a life shroom and a volt shroom, or a mushroom and a fire flower, or a mushroom and a super mushroom, mushroom volt shroom, mushroom gradual syrup, super mushroom dried mushroom, super mushroom volt shroom. I guess these must mean remix. I don't know. You have many options. Okay, let, me, let me see. We're going to be spending money. So we could go mushroom. And we 
you know, fire flower. Two items, mushroom, and fire flower. Let me get that going. Okay, so we got the mushroom roast, 15 HP, 5 FP. Okay. Let's see. Next one, we could just use an ultra mushroom. A life mushroom, super mu A lot of these require mush. Okay, so with this one, you're e you either just use an ultra shroom, or you combine it. Okay, I'm sorry. There's only one, uh, for a single ingredient, the only option is Ultra Mushroom. If you're combining ingredients, your base one is either going to be Ultra Mushrooms or Life Shrooms. That's going to be your base. No matter what, it's a big, just big choice. We'll just use it. It's fine. And we get Mushroom Steak. 30 HP, 10 FP. Maybe not useful to use the Ultra Mushroom, but maybe the Life Shroom, maybe. You could use Life Shroom with Dried Mushroom, Normal Mushroom, Super, or Ultra. Apparently in the remakes, you could probably... It seems like you use Turtle Leaf or Golden Leaf. So that might be a good combo right there. So maple syrup, jam and jelly with normal mushrooms. Fine, so I have. Okay. So we need two of these. Maple syrup is in Twilight Town. Syrups in Twilight Town. Oh, I already had two mushrooms as a whatever. But I don't have any jam and jellies. So we have two options for jam and jellies. One? Oh, actually, there's three options. We buy it in the underground store. We buy it from him. Or there was one that I didn't grab. At uh, uh, at the Palace of Shadow at the very end, right before Grotus. But I purposely left that one there, so. Right, Toyota Town. Let me make a syrup. Probably wouldn't be the worst idea to equip money money. What's a good way to get money now that we're in post-game? Just go through Palace of Shadow, fight enemies? Glitz Pit doesn't really give you that much money. Pit of 100 Trials is actually not bad. Let's go make some stuff. Two items. Mushroom. Maple syrup. There we go. We got a maple mushroom. 
Then we need mushroom jam and jelly. I, oh, right, I use my jam and jellies to make the ultras. That's right. Jelly ultras. All right. Those are done. We need maple ultras. No. Jam and ultras. No, jam and soup. Jam and supers. And we need... Honey Ultra. Okay. So first, one honey syrup. Draw. And my Ultra Shrooms. Then we need to go get a Jam and Jelly. House of Shadow? We'll grab the we'll grab the one in the Palace of Shadow. We might as well grab the other Ultra Mushroom too. Because if I don't, you know, I'd be spending more money. Take the shortcut pipe. And so I'm told that in post game, if you go to the final room, there's nothing there. Is that true? Yes. There actually is nothing here. We're in the deepest room in the Palace of Shadow. Shadow Cru Queen's Crypt. I gotta be honest, I totally thought we were goners at the time. Kind of were. Seriously. I was secretly wigging out, but then I saw how you wouldn't give up. Awesome! Anyway, enough reminiscing. There's nothing here now, Mario. Let's go back. There really is nothing here. Kind of disappointing that they didn't do anything with this. Alright. Just wanted to double check. See if that was actually the case. Up the stairs. Back to the Grotus room fight. Well, actually the room before it. In this room, there should be the Jam and Jelly left, and the Ultra Shroom that I didn't grab. Be both. There we go. I knew it was a good idea to just leave them there. Alright. Let's go back and cook these up. Thank you, game, for letting me skip scenes. There has to be another way to deal with uh, Prince Mush. I wonder if the final badge at Pit of 100 Trials will actually handle it.
because I feel like there has to be another way to do it if you're not good at super guarding. I don't know, I just can't find the timing for that attack. Okay, so let me double check. Jammin' Super Honey Ultra. So. Honey Ultra. HP, 5 FP. Super jamming super. There we go. Oh, oops. Not what I meant to do. What else do we got? <clears throat> What's next? Alright. So... We could go... I have some super mushrooms already. So... If I already have some super mushrooms, so let's use a fire flower. <laughs> There are many ways to make this. One of the cheaper ways is to get a normal mushroom and a keel mango, but it looks like that's Switch version exclusive, not GameCube. You can go Ultra Mushroom and Keel Mango, but you can also use Mushroom and Horsetail. Where do you get the Horsetail? I forgot. I forgot where you get the Horsetail. I need to know where it is. Door. Just f before the bridge in Petal Meadows, coming from the rogue port. There's a candy pop that hit, hit with a hammer. Okay, hit it ten times. Okay. Couldn't remember how to get it. So mushroom and horsetail is an option. But because I already have a super mushroom, I might as well use that and... That's a dinner. Yeah, it just tells you, like, probably the most basic one, but there's usually many ways to make some of these. You can use fresh pasta and mushrooms. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Next one. Oh! Okay, I can make this one right now. With a single item... We can use the Wackus Bump. You can use fresh pasta or dried mushroom in the Switch version, it looks like. And we get Zest Special. Looks like a downgrade. 20 HP, 20 FP. Doesn't Wackus Bump... Uh, Wackus Bump. I, j I just want the list of the Wackus Bump. 2525. <laughs> so it's 25. It, it's a downgrade if you just use the Wackus Bump. Then there's another one. Okay. All right, there's two ways of making this next... Well, okay, Switch version, there's three ways. You can use the Ultra Mushroom or fresh and Fresh Pasta if you're playing the Switch version. But other than that, you're going to use a Mushroom Steak and Healthy Salad, but we haven't made Healthy Salad. So, time to go hunting. How many items do I have? I have enough. I have enough room. All right.
So first things first, let's go back to Heal Key and grab another Wackus Bomb. I might either throw some of these in storage or I might sell some of these items. Because I'm getting full on storage. Either way, let's grab another Wackus Bomb. that. Let me go to the shop and sell some things. There's probably some things I can sell that's not worth it. Or put stuff in storage. Okay, let me, let me see. What can I store? Throw, throw these in. Throw that in. That's too good right now. Throw that in. That's too good. Clears out some room. Alright, one more item. We got the Wackus Bump. And you know what for the next recipe? Nah, we'll take care of that one later. Because we could do like a chain for like the next set instead of making them all from scratch. Back over here, in Twilight Town, back to Creepy Steeple, we're getting the gold leaf. I get the gold leaf all the way back over here. Jump up here. Up here. I just realized I don't have Jumpman equipped again. And it's fine. We don't... We don't need Jumpman. Not until we're probably going through a pit of 100 trials. I think we'll, uh, that's when I'll get Jumpman back on. We need another one of these. Alright, now to head all the way back. Don't you just love this? Granted, this is kind of extra, but I'm told there's something for 100%ing, so that's what we're doing. Honestly, beating Prince Mush is going to be the hardest thing. Right now, the hardest thing. And back to report. Bump and Golden Leaf. There we go. And with this, we get Zest Deluxe. 40 HP, 40 FP. That's pretty good. That's an upgrade with the Wackus Bump. Totally worth it. You can use the Mushroom Steak and health Healthy Salad. Or if you're playing the Switch version, Ultra Mushroom and Fresh Pasta. Okay. okay. 
Let me look, because we might just gather a few different things. There's five here. Okay. So we can combine, grab that one, combine those two. We combine that with that. And we combine that with Wait, how? Wait, how do I get this? Right, how do I get inky sauce? Uh, it can be created using hot sauce. Actually, I should find out how to make that. Inky pasta. Or inky sauce, whatever it is. There it is. Okay. So this and a turkey leaf. So I need this. Okay. I think I could do like a chain of a, a chain of uh, recipes. So first, let's go to Petto Meadows. I need two of these leaves. It's one of those things where I just need to leave the room, come back. I want to talk to the kid anyway. Like I said, I've been playing the new Paper Mario game a whole lot. I'm on the fence so far. Gotta put serious time into into a game to review it properly. But I can definitely tell you this: if you're a Luigi fan, this game will only encourage you. Is he referring to Super Paper Mario? Kind of. I think that dialogue was in the original game. Leave room, come back. All right, two of these. How many items do I have? 13? Okay, I should have enough space. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a quick uh, a trip to Poshley Heights, and we want one thing of fresh pasta. I don't think we need more than that at the moment. I knew we were going to need some soon. 50 coins. No, I only needed the one. Okay. Next, we need to go to Glitzville. And we need to buy some stuff here. to buy let's start with one hot dog because that's all I need for that this isn't real this one isn't really a chain but it's just it's a separate re recipe that I can just get going right here one hot dog then we need three hot sauces Ten coins per hot sauce, okay. We need three. Alright. That's all I need at the moment. Now we could do some cooking. Wow. 
Is there like a loose here? Yeah, there is. Alright. Um, might be another one. There it is. Okay. Now we can start doing some cooking. First, let's do the one that's just kind of by itself. Hot dog? Hot sauce? This one's just kind of by itself. And we got the hottest dog. It recovers 7 HP and FP. Okay. For 20 coins? I don't know. That's probably not worth it. Then one turtley leaf, one hot sauce, just to kind of... This will prep for the chain of recipes. All right. Inky sauce. We need that. Now, first, by itself, we use the fresh, fresh pasta. Just by itself. Then it gives me spaghetti. Now we take that spaghetti, and we're doing like a weird chain here. We take the spaghetti, turtley leaf, spaghetti. Again, you could use fresh pasta and turtley leaf, but you can also use spaghetti and turtley leaf, so that's nice. Got the cupasta. Okay. Next, with the cupasta, we fuse it with hot sauce. And with this, we get spicy pasta. And we're not done yet with the spicy pasta. Fuse it with the inky sauce. There we go, ink pasta. That's, that's done. Look at that, like a chain of four right there. This one, again, was just kind of by itself. So yeah, to make the spaghetti, you have you only can make it with fresh pasta, nothing else. With coup pasta, you could do fresh pasta, turtle leaf, or like we did the spaghetti and turtle leaf. Then for spicy pasta, you could go fresh pasta, hot sauce, spaghetti, hot sauce, or coup pasta, hot sauce. And with inky sauce, it's basically inky sauce with any of the other stuff, fresh pasta, coup pasta, Spi uh, spaghetti or spicy pasta. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay, let's see. Omelet meal we got because of the hotel. So it automatically registered it. So let's try to do a couple of these. We could probably do three more. How much how much items supposed to we have? Yeah, okay. I should be good. Back to the warp room. Okay, we're gonna try to do three more recipes. First, Boggly Woods. I get the mystic egg. So we gotta play with Petuni. Come back to say hi. Double wow. So you come free some you have some free time on board, you wanna play. Yeah, do the question game. 
my aunt. So Mario likes which person the most? It's an easy question. And we get a Mystic Egg. So we need that. We only need one of them at least at the moment. Take a quick trip to Keel Hall Key. We need a mango. Ah, dang it. I don't have my normal setup. It's not even worth it. Yay, I got a single star piece. It was so worth it. One kill mango. Go to Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows. Let's go. One of these. We're not done yet. Which one is it? Is it for the bridge. This one? No, not that one. It didn't make any reaction. Ah, uh, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's how you get horse tails. Okay. I'm not done yet, though. Head back to Petto Meadows. Or Petalburg, dang it. Yeah. Petalburg is the town. Petal Meadows is the area. Okay. Alright. And I need to grab another leaf. ingredients I want at the moment. Come on, let me go on. Go. Right, let's start cooking. I've come up with a new recipe. Cooking with zesty. Alright, two items. Okay, yeah, two items. Uh, keel, mango, turtley leaf. And we get a Koopa bun. I think that's the only way to get it. 
single item, Mystic Egg. And we get a fried egg. Pretty simple. And with the horsetail and turtle leaf, we get the last one. We get it was healthy salad. That's what it is. All right, what's next? See, this is filling out already. Uh, looks like some dessert stuff. Okay. So we're gonna need cake mix. Probably gonna need to grind for cake mix, won't I? Hmm, not as much as you think. There's a lot of desserts to get. I might take this in a few steps, just to kind of figure out what I need. We might have to play the Pianta Parlor for a bit, let's see. 41? Um, not right now. Okay. Let me grab two of these. to get where where was ruin powder oh okay we can make we can buy it at uh, north winds mart so off to far outpost off to far outpost remember the trouble from uh, Merle. Ruined powder and cake mix. Then I'm gonna withdraw my current m mushroom. I think that's right. I'm full on items and I'm full on basically full on storage. So I gotta use I gotta sell some of this stuff. Do I, do I have this right? Yeah, I kind of have this right. All right. Let's cook these two items. And go from there. Figure out what I need after that. Two items, mushroom, cake mix. You could use the super mushroom, life shroom, or slow shroom. Either way, you need cake mix. You get the mushroom cake. And then, cake mix, ruin powder. You could get a peachy peach from Twilight Town and use the ruin powder too, apparently. A hurtful cake. Restores 20 FP, but lowers your defense. Okay, I'm gonna go sell a couple things. I gotta make more room. Let's see. 
that's too good. This is too weak. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I mean, it's not bad, but I don't. I could get rid. I could get rid of the fried egg. It's easy to get. Get rid of that. Healthy salad. I could get rid of. Mushroom cake, sure, we'll get rid of. I don't think I need it. Heartful cake, sure, yeah, I, I'm not gonna use that. Anyway, that cleared some stuff out. Okay. The next, wow, the next little bit. We're gonna, okay. One honey syrup. There's a couple ways of handling some of these, but honey syrup. Okay. We need two more cake mixes right now. <coughs> Take care of these a few at a time. I might need three, but right now let's just get two. I might need to play two game. Yeah, one more. Next time I'm gonna have to play two game. Get some extra uh, piantas. All right, two cake mixes. I have honey syrup. Sorry, hold on. Okay, let's go and go to the work room. Okay. Back to Keyhole Key. We're gonna grab two mangoes. to leave the room and come back. eggs. You at least need one, but to save money, we're gonna get two. Two mystic eggs. Play a game with you, and then we probably need to leave the room and come back. So again, this is one I usually like to go with. Which person? The most. It's one I easily know. Okay, we got another Mystic Egg. talk to you again? No. Okay. Let's try leaving the room and come back in. Maybe it would have been faster to go through the door on the right. Go back down. Alright. Can we get another one? Okay. Not that way. 
What if I leave the tree and come back in? Let's try this again. Sometimes knowing what the trigger is kind of is nice. I think she only gives you one egg at a time. Or we need to leave Boggly Woods altogether. Just for it to trigger. So it's either she only gives you one egg at a time, or it's uh, leave bo Boggly Woods. Let's just get what I can do. Again, you, I really only needed one Mystic Egg. I could use a Maple Syrup instead, but Mystic Egg, you know, I don't have to spend money. Now let's get some of them done. Let's get about two or three done right now. All right. So first, we use the mango and the honey syrup. You can use a peachy peach instead. And you can use maple syrups or jam and jellies with this. You get the fruit parfait. So, any of the syrups with either, uh, either the peach or the mango. I'm also reading you can use the mango and the peach together. Okay, now that we have the fruit parfait, okay, so mango, cake mix. With the mango and the cake mix, this is the only way to make it, you get mango delight. With the Mango Delight, you mix it with the egg. And then you get the Love Pudding. It can make you invisible, electrified, or sleepy. Okay, I'm going to need two more sets of cake mix, which means I'm going to have to play the tube game. I have spare ultra shrooms. And, okay. So first things first. Let's go back and get the egg like I was, like I was trying to do. Again, it's either leave the woods altogether, or you can only hold one egg at a time. I'm not sure which. Is it buffering? Is this a case of buffering? Did it crash? No, it looks like it was just buffering. Yeah, I came back. Let's play a game. Mario. Nice. Which person the most? You think she has a short-term memory if I keep asking her the same question and she keeps getting excited. Mr. Cake. I wanted to grab that earlier, but hold on. So I should already have one cake mix. I need two more, so that'll bring me to 18. Ultra Shrooms. Okay, yeah, we can make this work. We can make this work with the current item storage. Okay, 
over here. Go to Twilight Town. Then we need to go sleep at the inn for a peachy peach. I don't remember if I have one in storage still. I'll just grab one anyway. <laughs> ten coins. So it's basically spending ten coins for a peach. You know? That's basically what I'm doing. Although I get my star points back, I guess. I have spare Ultra Shrooms in storage, so I could just grab one of those. Actually, there might be one in my inventory already. No, I have to grab them out of storage. Now it's back to the Pianta Parlor. I need two more cake mixes, but I need to play two game. We might play it twice, just to have a lot of coin. Come on, get in there. I mean, I have enough to buy one cake mix, but I'm just going to play two games. up some some fiance tokens yep come on let's go section. We want to go here. That. Go. Uh, up. There. Last one. Made it. I got 43 out of that. How about we play one more time? I want a big buffer, just in case. No, I missed it. Was it even is it even worth it? Well, nope. too late now. Wasted a lot of time just waiting for it. Two more. Made it. Not the best time, but I did wait for the platform. I got I still got 42. I'll take it. There we go. I'll take it. Alright. Traded my winnings. Two cake mixes. To one of the stores, grab my ultra shroom, and then we can do a little bit more. At least the backtracking is not as bad 
with that be with that better warp room. Still a lot of backtracking to do a lot of the recipes though. Probably end up selling a few things. Okay, first. I wanted to make the egg and the cake mix last time. I did have an ultra mushroom, but whatever. How come I didn't see it? Oh well, it's fine. Not a big deal. We got zest cookies for that. Two items. Okay, next, we want ultra shroom cake mix. And we get the mushroom crepe. Such a downgrade. <laughs> it's a big downgrade. And think about it, if you're getting, if you're paying for the Ultra Shroom in the store that's like 120 coins, it only sells for 100. It's not even that good of a trade-off. All right. Cake mix, peach, peach. And we get the peach tart. Can make you electrified, dodgy, or sleepy. Let me go sell a couple things. I need to make room. Um, I might be able to use this. Don't need that. Love pudding I don't need. Zest cookie. It's okay, but I don't need it. <laughs> Mushroom crepe, nah, I don't need it. Peach tart, don't need it. Okay, I made some room. Let's see, what do we have left? We're getting close, getting close. We have two ways of we have two ways of doing this. Wait, how do you how do we get this item? Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. I see. Wait, if this is a is that a cooking item? Oh, if I have to make it anyway, why don't we just do that? Okay. Well, we might jump ahead. Hold on. And you know what? We're going to jump ahead a little bit. Do I have... Well, I'm, I'm going to need to grab this. Do I have... Thunder Rage... Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Um, I think that might have been at Witzville? We need a Thunderbolt right now. I'm doing it this way because we might be able to do a little chain. Looking for thunderbolts. Might be in Glitzville. Over here at the souvenir shop that no one goes to. There it is. Thunderbolt. <laughs> Kind of doing things in a different order, because I wasn't planning on that. But I figured by doing this, we can save a little bit of time. Get a 
couple done, you know? Thunderbolt and the Thunder Rage together. And we get Trial Stew. Amazing food made by Zesty yields incredible results. Reduces HP to 1, FP to 0, and restores all of your star power. Well, if you really wanted to go Danger Mario. There's another way to make it, but the reason why I'm going this route is because I am going with the Dried Bouquet that we got earlier with the Trial Stew. And with this, we get a Poison Mushroom. Poisons the user, but has a small chance it will replenish all of their HP. I went this... So, to make another trial suit, you could use the poison mushroom and a couple's cake. But, I needed a poison mushroom anyway. But, I wanted a poison mushroom because... I needed it for the recipe I was... The next recipe on the list anyway. I should have go I should have grabbed it. Place. I didn't think about that. My bad. So, uh, this next recipe, there's four ways to make it, although one of them, I guess, was added for the Switch version, I guess. Kind of weird. So, your options to make this recipe requires either a turtle leaf or a golden leaf. Combined either of those with either the slow mushroom or the poison mushroom. And apparently the turtley leaf poison mushroom combo was added in Switch, I guess? Kind of makes you wonder why it wasn't in the GameCube version in the first place. I should have grabbed that sooner, but oh well. Yeah, I did it this way. That way we could take care of like three different recipes more or less one go. I say more or less because I did the extra trip. <laughs> so with two items, turtle leaf with the poison mushroom. And we get Mushroom Broth. Re regenerates 2 HP for 5 turns, so it's a regen, but it gives you less defense. Let's see. How much more do I have left? Is that? Well, that might be for me. I need to step away for here in a sec. Um, we already made Inky Sauce, so it's the next spot. Okay. We're going to need a lot of cake mix here in a second. Let's work on like these first three. Let's work on these three. No matter what route we take. Okay. So, how much item storage do I have? 13? That should be good. Okay, first. First, honey syrup. 
gonna take care of that right now. I, uh, I think I need to step away for just a second. So let me swap it back over. Yeah, I, I gotta step away for just a second. Be right back. I'm gonna refill my. Wa I'll refill my water. I might let my dog out if needed. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let me swap it back. All right, so for the next three recipes I'm going to work on, we bought one honey syrup. We need to go to, I think, Far Outpost. If there is another spot to buy the uh, these items, then I can't think of it at the moment, but Far Outpost is the most obvious one. Okay, it's also probably the cheapest. We need three of these.
Okay. Maple syrup. We will need maple syrup. Oh, it's 20 coins. Is it cheaper at... I need to go to Twilight Town. But is it cheaper in Twilight Town? We'll check here. Take a look. Is it 20? It's still 20. Okay, so I could have bought it in a foreign place. We need one maple syrup. You could use a jam and jelly. I wouldn't recommend that. But now we need to get another leaf. We need to get another golden leaf. Isn't this fun? How, to, how often we have to go back to Creepy, creepy Steeple for something. Again, playing GameCube version. You have to run all the way here. Granted, the whole recipe thing is optional. But still. with a new recipe. Three items. First, we mix the honey syrup with the ice storm. And with this, you get a honey pop, ice cold pop. 15 FP, but it can freeze you. Give you brain freeze. Maple syrup. An ice storm. And you get the zest frap frap. Uh frappe. Whatever. 20 FP, but it could sometimes freeze you. And last one. Of this list. Golden Leaf. Ice Storm. And we get a Snow Bunny. Re refills 15 HP but often freezes you. Alright. What else can I make? We're gonna need a lot of cake mix. A lot of cake mix. Um, 
Oh, two of them are the same. Okay. So... We need four things to cake mix. I might need to sell some stuff and make some room. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make some room. Let me check something. Do I need... Mushroom broth, I don't need. I don't need the icicle pop. Crap, I don't need. And I don't think I need the snow bunny. Okay, I have 12 items. We should be fine. I have a coconut. Which I kept all the way from chapter 5. I will need it. So I need to buy a fire flower. You could buy hot sauce instead. I need... Do you have it? No, you don't. Okay, um... Let's this wrap. Doesn't really matter. I need a jam and jelly. And I think I have to buy it at the, at the store down in the underground world court. The, the merchant didn't have it. Not right now. But I need jam and jelly. Yeah, it would be cheaper if the merchant had it. Oh, well, I need to buy one. Yes. I need to buy one. Okay. Uh, okay. I need to head this way. Up this way. Volt Shroom. Oh, I could have bought Thunderstorm here. Okay, never mind. And now we need four cake mixes. Yeah. Four cake mix. I could definitely just buy them all. I played enough tube game. One. Just, I just gotta fill out the rest of my store. Uh, bag. Might have been better to get jam and jellies from here, but oh well. I didn't want to play two game. All right. Now we can start cooking. First. Mix two items. Coconut, cake mix. you get cocoa candy 3h 3 hp 15 fp we already made the honey candy honey syrup and cake mix but we need jam and jelly cake mix okay jelly candy replenishes 64 fp well, it is better than a jam and jelly, I can tell you that. <laughs> so, it's not the worst trade-off, I guess. Okay. 
cake mix with the Volt Shroom. Pop. And one more. Cake mix with the fire flower. And we get the fire pop. You could use hot sauce. I know I said that before, but you can use hot sauce instead. So, last few. Okay. Sorry. How much sword should I have? Four. I can. I need to sell just a couple things. <laughs> just a couple. I don't need so much. Um. We'll keep that. I actually. I don't. No. I, I can. I'm going to sell two pops. I don't need them. We're keeping the jelly candy. We are keeping the jelly candy. All right, that might be enough. Okay. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I need to go back in. I need to go back in. I need to buy two fire flowers. All right. Two fire flowers. To the warp room. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. First, Pedalberg. Uh, we don't need a leaf. I can tell you that. We don't need a leaf. shell. Oh, it would have been cheaper to buy the fire flowers here. Oh, well, it's fine. One curd shell. Oh, okay. okay I'm seeing it. Back and get an egg. Mystic egg. I think this is the last mystic egg we need. Right. 
back over to Key Hall Key. We are not getting a mango. We need a coconut. And I only had one in storage, so. Off to get a coconut. You. Dang it. Wow, there's a lot of them. I have zap top. They, they can't do anything to me. I want to make sure to get rid of the green one. I could've used Stampede. I could've. But I didn't. And... There we go. A single star point. So worth it. Might have been better to run away. Oh well. Got extra points out of it. I guess for cooking, you only need like a total of th three coconuts. Yeah, I only need the one. they respawn. I thought that would have been enough, but no. Okay. At least I got around them. Back to Zesty. Two items. First, we need the courage shell mixed with any of the zest items. You can use deluxe, dinner, or special. Let's just mix it with the special. And you get the courage meal. Throw it at an enemy to attack. <laughs> Four damage to a single an enemy? Not worth it. Okay, whatever. Next. Coconut. Mixed with a fire flower. bomb. Throw it at an enemy. 7 HP to a single enemy. And the mystic egg with the fire flower. And then you 
you get the egg bomb. You apparently... Oh, no, 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 never mind. Okay. So, the egg bomb is 6 HP to a single enemy. And now, if we take the egg bomb and the coconut bomb and fuse them together... We get... Zest Dynamite. Seven damage to all enemies. And we only have one left. Let's see. What do I have on me? Well, let's use this up and use the hottest dog up. And we got the mistake. It's a failed attempt. Actually, I could have just probably used one of those items. Oh, well. And that is all recipes. Recipes are completely done. I thought there was a... It was weird. It looked like this symbol was on like some of these other spots, but now it's not there. Am I misremembered? Anyway, all recipes are done. Let me sell a couple things. <laughs> so. We'll keep that. I guess we'll keep that. Keep that. Sell the courage meal. I don't need that. Sell the mistake. Apparently, you can sell for three coins in Twilight Town. All right. It's done. Recipes are done. Where is Luigi at, anyway? Oh, he's up here. Been catching a breather here, you know, reflecting back on all my adventures. It's been a long road, bro. Wanna see what happened? Pretty long story. Is there an extra? There's two more. Let's read them. It's like I said, it's a really long story. Hate Song Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the nor northernmost sea. We you know what? We probably missed this one in right before chapter eight. He was probably in here. The winds whistle down from the cliff, howling for, like ban banshees singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. Blocking out the bone-chilling house, I somehow managed to reach the tower's door. I was terrified, but thoughts of Princess Eclair warmed my heart and gave me power. All of my companions felt the same way. They were there with me to the bitter end. The door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an incon inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out Princess Eclair's name, but I couldn't even breathe because I strained my as I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all. The chestnut king himself appeared before me. He was the, he was monstrous and drooling. Puddles of toxic goo dro dro uh, dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped into his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split the air and crashed dead center in onto the chestnut king's skull. Hope to power me up, bro. I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king, and I was loving it. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I'll risk it all on my next blow. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for my moment. The, ten the tension stung me. Swack! The ocean winds raged against the tower windows. With the sound as my call to battle, I advanced with no mercy in my heart. And then, and then, I beat him. I defeated the chestnut king. An even worse, an even worse beast came next—a nightmare thing. But I beat that too. 
I rescued Princess Eclair. It was all over. And then I came back to Rubcourt and I had a light lunch. And that's about it. Huh? You think there's more to the story than that? Not at all. That's it. That's the whole story of the quest for Princess Eclair. The end. But my adventures won't end here, bro. And they'll never end. I like how he just like, nah, I just beat him. <laughs> So apparently, I, I guess I missed it. Uh, he didn't get a new partner, but his blooper partner was even cooked even further, and I forget what the reason was. Actually, you know what? This guy novelized my quest. He's been interviewing me. He, he was actually interviewing me here at the end during breaks of my adventure. I didn't think anyone would be interested in reading a book about Luigi, but Super Luigi came out recently. And check this out, bro. Here in Rogueport, it set a new record for consecutive weeks at number one on the bestseller list. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hooray for Luigi, bro! I started reading it the other day, but it's in psycho, but it's in encyclopedic account on in multiple volumes. Excruciating detail, bro. It's like a history book. It seems like one. It seemed like one anyway. They've got it here in the shop here in Rogueport. How about you snag a copy, bro? Alright, so I got that. What? Okay. So, again, with the tattle log. You know what? Let me pull up the tattle log. Actually, I want to check something very quick. It seems like there was an extra... Oh, was the hottest dog, like, a brand new one? It looks like the hottest dog might have been a new recipe for the switch version it seems like that wasn't there in the original interesting okay let me pull up the title log and i'm gonna pull up the gamecube if possible Hundred and twenty four tile logs. Okay, good. So let me look through and see if there's anything I can take care of right now. Okay. This seems like a new enemy. Cause it's skip it it goes from spiky Goomba to Koopa Troopa, so something's here. Something's new, okay? Pit of 100 Trials. Pit of 100 Trials. Give me a minute. Okay. Pit of 100, pit of 100 Trials. Pit of 100 Trials. So, this could. Amazing Daisy could be in Twilight Trail, or in Pit of 100 Trials near the end. We could try to find the Amazing Daisy. That's something we could try doing. Pit of 100 Trials. Oh, hold on. Pit of 100 Trials. Pit of 100 Trials. Try not to go too far, just in case. Pit of 100 Trials. Pit of 100 Trials. Pit of 100 Trials. Pit of 100 Trials. So, it's... Okay. Without looking at the rest, I don't want to... Don't want to look any further. We can go and grab the info for the Amazy Daisy if we find it on the on the road along the way. We can do that now. Or later, we'll see. But for some reason, this looks new. There seems to be at least on the title log database that looks like it's referencing the GameCube. 
Uh, there's a skip here, and I don't know what this is, and I'm not going to look it up. The rest, it looks like it's Pit of 100 Trials. As I kind of figured. Don't know what this is. I know what this is. This is at the end of Pit of 100 Trials. So that takes care of most of that. Okay. Hmm. I guess we'll go find the Amazy Daisy. Get that done now, I guess. Because that's like the only other thing I can think of at the moment. Excuse me? Congratulations, you've learned all of Zesty's recipes. Her menu is now complete. So all of your meals can be mighty tasty and mighty mighty too. As proof of your efforts, we've sent you a special reward, the cooking trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to friends. You're earned the right to brag. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It literally gave me a trophy. That's funny. Given to those who have collected every recipe. I see what's happening. It literally gives you a trophy. Okay. That's fine. I'll take it. Alright. Time to go through here and go find a Maisie Daisies. That is the goal at the moment. At least I can skip past these guys. I need to figure out another way to beat uh, Prince Mush. I'm really wondering if the badge at the end of uh, Pit of Hunger Trials will actually help with Prince Mush. Because if it actually does help, I might just wait. No, not here. However... Look at that. We can get another badge. Sounds. Actually, I got a question now that I'm thinking about it. If I run away from the fight, the enemy's still there. If I re enter the fight, is it the same formation? It is. Okay, it seems to be the same formation. I guess maybe whenever you load into the... I don't know how it works. Oh, I made it just in time. We got a last stand batch, because why not? Look, Miss Mouse was useful. I swear. Get out of here. I'm pretty sure it's just on my end. Oh, good. It, it didn't seem like it crashed. It's just on my end. Yeah, bingo! Full recovery. For Miss Miles, I guess. Let's go find another Amazy Daisy. Or Crazy Daisy. Should be one right over here. I don't know if I should jump on them, just in case 
it gets rid of the chance of mazes. Yeah, I don't know how this particular I leave the room. There's one here. No, nothing. I think how it works, the more you run away, the harder it is. But then if you win a few fights, it goes back to normal. If I fight you... Was that the same formation? And if it was, was the badge there? I don't remember the badge being there. I'm not losing any coins out of this. I don't know if that's because I'm too strong or if that's a switch thing. same formation, but look, the badge is not there. Hmm. What's the best way to handle this? Either I'm not dropping coins because that's a switch thing, or I'm just too strong for these enemies. And then we're not dealing with them anymore, so... If I take them out... That's a good sign. That is a good sign. Right, what if I fight you? That is not different. Formation now might be different. Or it was coincidence, I'm not sure. But these two came back. Let's go this way. Oh, I did. I didn't. Actually, you know what? This is a good test. I want to check something. Because sometimes enemies don't respawn if you leave, but sometimes they do. So I think it's either one of those things where you need to go two screens away, or it's about the left exit. Oh, wow. There's four crazy daisies. What the 
uh, what are the odds of getting a amazing daisy? Just spell one. Yeah. Let me see if I can get something. Amazing daisies. Can be found, try to uh, depending on where you battle. It's a lot harder to defeat them even with proper commands. Blah blah blah. It's best to wait till after chapter four. Wait until art attack, whatever, that's not the point. It's not helpful. Sorry. Not really that helpful. I'm pretty sure it's just doing this. Alright. I'm gonna test something. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to test. We didn't make it. But we have another shot. I actually thought, uh, that's it. You know, you get your one shot. If I do that. There we go! Finally! We got the Amazy Daisy. That's an Amazy Daisy. This mythical Daisy is like the rarest thing ever. HP is 20, attack is 20, defense is 1. Since it has such high HP, it runs away really quickly. It's almost impossible to beat. Plus, its lullaby has a massive attack power, so if we're low on HP, we need to scram. You gotta think hard whether to fight it or bolt. So, what's the plan? I think if we really want to take care of it, sadly, Supernova is only 15 damage. Let's try Art Attack. I would have been better off with Supernova. Ugh, okay. I would have been better off with Supernova. However, um, I don't know why. Our attack is very, like, loose. I don't know. It's not that comfortable. Dang it. Good, 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 good. <laughs> but look at that. Getting getting rid of an Amazing Daisy gave, gives me 40 star points. So if you want to level up for lo whatever reason, you know. Well, that's something. Alright. Let's, uh, let's leave. That's that. That is, well, as far as I could tell, all the title logs, that is not Pit of a Hundred Trials. Everything else seems like Pit of a Hundred Trials. Other than, like, the one or two enemies that I don't know of. Okay. So...
So, we got all the recipes. Tile log will be done soon. Hmm. How about... How about we do a couple star pieces? How about a couple? And I need to heal up. So because I have no clue where I'm looking. First I'm gonna heal up at the end and then we'll go to the fortune teller. I don't need to talk to Luigi. I need to sleep at the inn. There we go. Full health. I needed it. Alright. Make a save. Next. Let's go to the fortune teller and let's figure out where some star pieces are. Or, yeah, star pieces. We're not going to go for all of them today. Let's just go for some uh, some of them. Maybe do a bit of a trial soon. Alright. Star pieces. star piece inside the scary steeple on the upper level of a torch-filled basement room through well behind the column on the far right i see can i just keep you know what i'm just gonna keep buying as much as i can town of wealth at the house in front of the station that has a pool Behind the deck chair. I probably could have easily gotten that, but I didn't see it. Because I need some for every chapter. All the main ones, anyway. Sitting in the clouds behind the phone box. I th okay, never mind. I thought I would have gotten that one. Guess not. Star piece. Snowy outpost, not far from where you enter. It lies behind the front wall. Oh, okay. At least all of these will appear in the notes. West of in West Rogueport, a wall along the path that leads to the square. Hiding in the shade on the white right side of the wall. Hmm. There's gotta be like just a couple per area, maybe. Below Rogueport, to the left of the room with the great door. Where the pipe to the pit of one hundred trials is, is behind the stairs to I what I was checking there. How come it didn't pop up? I checked there. I thought for sure I was checking there when I first got to the Thousand Year Door. The square, go through the alley, walk to the wall, then go to the right where some crates lie. Oh, there's a strange panel. Okay, I see. Again, I have no clue how many I'm missing. Let's just get as much info as possible. Low Rogueport, in the room with the pipe to the great tree, pops out a strange panel. Okay. 
City of Clouds far in front of the arena before the star. Strange panel, okay. Star piece, Rowcourt Square, just before the exit to Harbor. Strange panel. Okay. We might grab some of these. I need like three for another badge. Rowcourt Square, near the path to the east side, between the fence and the crit. Oh, duh. I think I remember that one now. Star piece below road court inside the second building from the left before wonky. Strange panel, okay. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Below road court, left of the leftmost building behind a column there. We can get that right now. Star piece, scary steeple, near the door room with the parrot, strange panel, I see. Okay. Star piece, scary steeple, room with the staircase that changes, in the space just between the far door and the near door, strange panel. Decent amount of creepy steeple. Okay. City of Clouds, in the middle of the first floor of the arena storage room. Strange panel. Okay. Peace. Easygoing Berg, near the flowers and butterflies by the gatekeeper. Strange panel. I remember. Oh, yeah, I remember the strange panel. I couldn't get it, but I remember seeing it. Okay. Star piece. West Rope Court, in front of the door to the Pianta Parlor. Strange panel. Piece. Deep, thick forest where you can see the wind user's house. Third tree from the left. Okay. We haven't gotten much for, like, Key Hall Key. Sitting clouds in the arena on the second floor of the storage room. Room filled with boxes to the right. Lies behind some of those boxes. I feel like I could have grabbed it. But I just missed it. Okay, what's next? Star piece. Grotto in the southern island, far above the sluice gate. Big waterfall begins. There is a glowing panel near the path that goes on to the right. Strange panel. Okay. I guess I could have gotten it when I was there. In the Twilight Village, there's where the inn is behind the house on the left. Guess I could have easily grabbed it. Beautiful shiny train in the middle of cabin four. Strange panel. I think there's a strange panel in the, uh, in the conductor's room as well, or engineer's room. 
I didn't get it. Beyond the Tower Village, beyond the Fallen Tree, behind the pipe. He's there the entire time. Okay, fine. Whatever. Alright. Star piece. North Rogue Court. On the left side of the train platform near the Toad Girl. Strange panel. Okay. East Rogue Port. Turn sideways. Go between two houses. Behind a barrel. Okay. All these are popping up in the notes, right? Yeah. All of them are listed. Okay. Just double checking. So glad the notes thing is here. Below Rogue Port, sunken area with a moving floor near where you enter the sewers. Strange panel. There's a lot of star pieces. City of Clouds, first floor lobby to the left of the ring door. Strange panel. Star piece, Twilight Village, where the shop is, hidden out of sight behind a barrel on the right of right in front. Okay. Star piece, Snowy Outpost, close to the left side of a cannon. Strange panel. Big castle, many cells, inside the leftmost cell, strange panel. Back in Hooktail. Another trip to Hooktail Castle, except this time it's on me. Southern Island, near the stones that look like the red and blue mustache siblings, behind the stone in, f in the front. Okay, I could have grabbed it. Left of the stairs leading from Rogue Port to the square. Strange panel. Okay. There's a lot of these things. At this point, I just kind of want to get all of these listed. Just to have them. And then next time, we'll just go start piece hunting. Great, uh, great tree where the little ones lived. In the middle of the blue cell. Strange panel. Peace. Great tree, little ones live. In the room with the four pillars carved with the symbols behind the pipe. Okay, whatever. I know a lot of these star pieces you cannot get on your first run throughs, but still. No through report to the right of the pipe on the blimp landing pod. Strange panel. Peace. East Report. In front of the Goomba House Strange Panel. Okay. Okay. Star Peace. Below Report. Great Door Room. Open area before the door. Strange Panel. Oh, man, 
these am I missing? See, so star piece. Once deserted southern island, go right from the pier until you get near a rock. Strange panel. You know what wouldn't have been the worst idea? Is if, like, after every chapter I just went here and just get all of these notes added in, even if I could get them or not. Snowy outpost to the left of the pipe that leads below rogue port. Strange panel. Because I didn't realize how many of these are. I was using my money for other things, too. Deserted Southern Island behind the rock in front of the inn. That one... Ugh, fine. That one's, like, right there. Okay. Star of Peace. Grotto on a southern island in the middle of the room with the three winged beasts. Strange panel. Oh, okay. I think I know what room it's talking about. Path to the pipe that leads from the snowy outpost to the sewers of below rogue port. Behind the wall. In front of the right. Okay. It's not going to do like repeats, is it? Southern Island. Lots of barrels on the left side. You write something, rise to a high place, and then find it in a barrel. So far, I haven't seen a repeat. Again, I'm pretty sure if there was a repeat, she'll just refund you or something. An easygoing burg. There's an area with the inn near the flower-headed guy. Strange panel. That one felt like a repeat. Maybe there's two? It felt like one, though. Above the bubble room, near the pipe that goes up. Strange panel, so... Mm. Okay, keep going. Town of Wealth, at the bottom of the stairs in front of the station. Strange panel. Port in front of the black chest. Strange panel. How many more are there? Let's see. East Rope Port. Small energetic friend. You cross the canal and climb the crates onto the roof. Strange panel. Still going. Sitting in the clouds in the arena in the promoter's room behind the decorative plant behind the. Oh, okay. I probably could have grabbed that. Okay, come on. Keep going. This is the 100% experience, am I right? Wind user's house, in the room with the bed, to the left of the dresser. Strange panel, okay. I was only in there once. When I was trying to find how many chairs... ...for the briefcase. Town of Wealth, by the house with an archway of roses before the station. Enter through a subtle gap in the hedge, find it in the back. Oh, okay. Near the pipe on the moon, just beyond the 
large crater behind a small stone. You have heard everything I can see for you. You should press forward as your heart leads you. Is that literally everything? You have reached the end of the path I can see for you. <coughs> that is all of the star pieces... Look at this list. Look at this. There's a lot to do. I'm gonna grab, I think, three. So there's one there. I'm just gonna grab three that I know of immediately. Get up there. So, hidden panel? Well, kind of no way. Ah, right there. There's one. All the way to... I guess we'll do, go to Frankly's. That looks like an ad. None of that, please. There we go. I have to spin... Okay, I thought you could use your hammer. Alright. We have three star pieces. That should be enough. Most of them are pit of a hundred trials. I don't know what this is, but most of them are pit of a hundred trials. End of pit of a hundred trials. I have no clue what this one is. We still need to defeat Prince Mush. I might look into him a little bit. Because I'm gonna be honest, I can't. I'm having so much trouble with the second phase. Maybe beating, getting the badge after beating the Pit of Hundred Trials might actually work, so I might wait for that. We have all badges except for three, which all three of them are in Pit of Hundred Trials. All recipes are completed. We have them all. We're gonna be filling this in. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't realize you can look at it this way. It tells you the percentage of star pieces you have per area. So I guess if you didn't want to use uh, the fortune teller, you could use this. Good to know. That's one way of doing it. Okay. Um... And we have one more trouble, which requires us to go to the Pit of 100 Trials anyway. So it sounds like we got a plan. I'm gonna call it. But. So, I... Next time, we're gonna go hunting for star pieces. I might look up how to beat Prince Mar Mush, but we may end up doing Pit of 100 Trials tomorrow. And then we'll go from there. That's kind of the plan I'm looking at. We'll see what we can do. Uh, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at ScottBot64 <laughs> Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. I'm not saying we're going to beat it tomorrow, but we're going to get a lot more done tomorrow. I really got to look up Prince Mush. But anyway, again, 
Have a good day. Later.